एवरीवन माय नेम इज सक्षम दीक्षित एंड दिस इज माय चैनल पेंटेस डायरी स्टूडेंट मेक अनदर वीडियो ऑन द सेम सीरीज ऑफ लेजी प्रोग्रामिंग सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो इटसेल्फ आई विल ट्राई टू कवर द कांसेप्ट देयर आर टू कांसेप्ट ट्राई टू कवर वन इज अ जॉइन फंक्शन इटसेल्फ एंड अनदर वन यू कैन एबल टू गेट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन द रेड्यूस फिल्टर एंड द मैप these are couple of things i'll try to get it cover in this video itself this might be a long video as i have to cover two concept uh two code itself with you itself and four concepts so three concepts with one code and one concept with a one code itself so there are two codes i'm just presenting to you so first we are going with the theory part once we're done with the theory part then we go for the practical section for it and this is one of the layout i'm trying it today itself i'm not sure whether it looks like good or not so earlier you are just seeing my face only at the time of the theory itself so now i'll just make it an arrangement for you so that at least you can able to see the um, content also on the screen simultaneously when i'm explaining the content about it okay so now now onwards i'll try to make the video in such a way itself where you can able to see the screen with that content along similar like that um, when we are seeing the practical section for it at that time you can able to see my screen also and to me also so both the things so even in my case if i'm not uh, um, not required i will um, i will remove my face from that video itself but i want it that content should be get it displayed to you so that you can able to correlate the stuffs okay so let me go it further with that join function so what is a join function itself and why we required it so basically i'll give it an idea about it what is join function itself so taking example if there is a need uh where you have couple of things over there itself you wanted that to be get it join but appropriate formatting you have to get it mention over there itself even a custom based join function you can make it and by that way you can do it so take example hello world is one of the statement so hello and world so you are putting two values uh having no difference between it so then in that case later phase itself if you want to get it join that so in that case just to get it join we can use a join function by that function using it we can uh we can making a uh, space in between of it even if we want like if we have multiple entities over there we want a uh, uh, separator to be in between of it like comma semicolon anything like that that we can do it very easily with that section for with a join so um in my code itself when i am presenting in a practical section for you you can able to understand with that how exactly we can make it a customized one and how it can utilize it as per the need itself i'll try to make it that in a multiple sections for there are four sub sections i'll try to explain you in the join function section for it okay in the meantime i'll uh, i have given you few examples also so let me start with that i'm reading the content for you so that you can able to understand about it like this is a concrete statement for it how to why we utilize a join function so in python the join function is used to um, concatenate the elements of an uh, i can say that iterable list like a list tuple in a single string with a specified string the separator in each and every elements this method is particularly useful for creating a single string uh, from a list of strings okay so what exactly is it like you have multiple entries so after that you wanted that to be in a single line so to do that we can use a join function so that we can join multiple entries take example if we have 100 entries or take example 10 entries we have it we want to join everything uh, all the strings to be in one line then in that case join function is the function which we can utilize is just to combine all the strings which we have it in 10 lines so that's the functionality of it so this looks like a uh, i can say there are syntax for it where we have to use a separator dot join and interval whatever the things we wanted like whatever the entries we are giving it and we wanted that to be get it join so now with the example itself you can able to see on the screen like the word we are giving two words separately like uh, in a word itself we have two entries hello and the word these are two entries with a separator we have it over here itself i have provided mention is a separator over here itself and in separator i am mentioning a value as space it just a space nothing as as i am wanted both the alphabets hello uh, both the words hello and the word to be get it combined so in that case i do not want a uh, comma over there itself i wanted only the space so that was the reason in case of separator i am just defining it as a space over there itself now what if we want to get it uh, get the result for it so result is one of the variable i'm defining over here itself and now the separator dot join and the word so wherever we have that content that 
thing we have to get it mentioned over here itself and this separated dot join is a syntax for it so once we run this then in that case in the result when you want to print the result we can get the result as hello world that's all about the stuff about that now if we're talking about like we want a comma to be uh, utilized over there as a separate instead of a space we wanted a comma to be there itself then in that case it's a bit easy i have to define one of the list over here <coughs> <coughs> list over here itself in case of separator instead of providing a space i'll simply have to provide a single uh, comma over there itself now it's a similar type of thing we are using over here itself we have to use result is a variable then separator or join we have to use an items we have to give it whatever the list we have it and then by that way when we're trying to get it print all the values which we have it as a list in case of items it get print with a comma in between of it so that's the functionality of the join itself even we have another example over here itself with a separator for it so this is a statement we wanted that to be get it join and with just a space so that's also one of the possibility we can able to do that okay so over here itself tuple of the string we are just defining it and we wanted that to be get it join and we get the single line string that that is this is a test so that's also one of the example for it <coughs> so this is just for the error handling itself i'm not covering that you can go through it but basic function i have already explained you about it so now this is actually we are code for it uh, how to use it so instead of using directly a join what i did in my code like i'll explain you at the time when we are seeing that uh, code also on our uh, in our by charm at the time you can able to see the code i will explain each and every section for it right now i'm skipping that i'm not explaining that section right now over here itself but these are the things which we have discussed on the top these things are covered over here itself with a little bit tweak over here itself okay now going further with that map filter and reduce what's the need of it what's the reason why we required the map to be there itself to be used the filter and reduce as per the functionality point of view if we want everything to be like if we providing one list we wanted that everything to be club and we are getting only a single value then in that case we have to use a reduce whatever the definition you are getting on internet that's okay but if there is a list and we wanted a single value out of it like combining it we want whatever the operation we want to get it performed over there itself you want a single value then in that case a reduce is one of the thing we have to use it and if we talking about the filter then in that case filter is one of the thing where we trying to get it filter out the values out of it like example we provide one list we wanted some combination over there itself where we are having a true value or false value so on the basis of that so in case of filter whenever we are utilizing a filter in that the condition should be true then only that will be get it fetch out in in case the value is not true then in that case that output is not considered to be a part of the filter itself i will explain you that section why exactly what it means by the true and uh, uh, true output about it and now it's a map so map is a bit clear about it we simply have to syntax use it like we have to put it a map then the function whatever the function we want to get it run it over there the interval is whatever the numbers we are giving it from our side so that was the thing so over here itself it, this is just one of the things like i'm just giving examples also simultaneously and even i'll explain you about it what are the things so in case of python map filter and reduce are the functional programming are the uh, functional programming tools that allow you to apply functions to sequences in concise and expressive ways so it's it's different different type of expressive way if you want to get it you we can utilize any type of uh, functional program just for the functional program we can utilize the map filter or reduce itself so talking about the map so in case of map the map function applies a single function to a item in an input list and the return a map object so like we are giving a single input and we get the output out of it in, in the return we are getting the output of a map object we are getting it so that's one of the thing let me explain you over here itself we simply have to make the list then we have to define one of the variable over here itself now i'm just using a syntax of the map over there itself i'm using one of the function name over here itself and this is whatever the list we have it so we have to pass that over here itself and then on the basis of that individually that value will be get it return it back so over here we are getting a return object map object we are getting it return it back and that to be get it display that was the reason we are using a map over here itself similar like that we can perform the same thing using a lambda function also so you 
you can use it a tweak over there so there is no need to use a separate function we simply have to go it further with the lambda and by that way we can perform the same operation we get the similar type of result so by both the way we can get the same result but this is a core section for it a map this is a core section for both the code uh, where we have to utilize in the purpose of the map functionality okay now going further with the filter itself if we're talking about the filter then in that case as i told you about it the value should be there whatever the result value that should be true so that is the statement the filter function construct a in uh, <coughs> i can say the interior uh, from elements of a tray bill for which a function returns a true so whenever we are talking about the filter itself so whatever the values get it written it should be true then only it will consider it in the category of the filter itself so what exactly is this we are defining one of the function over here itself and this is a symbol like that on the top itself we are trying to pass the value from our side and then whatever that whatever the way by which we are getting a even like in return we are getting the even as a true one in return then only that value will, will be get printed so take example in case of one if i'll just try to pass one that is not even in case of two if i'll just try to pass two then in that case the value will be getting over here itself and two ampersand two i'm just getting a zero itself so it's a <coughs> the condition will be true and i'm getting it's true so that was the reason we are getting an output as a two itself similar like that for the four also there is no uh, we are getting a zero itself over there as we there is nothing like a reminder we are getting it so that was the reason behind it uh, behind it like uh, we are getting zero whenever we are getting a zero equal to zero itself then in that case the value will get it printed and in output we can get two four six so that's the functionality of it even we can utilize a lambda function also in in such a way to get the similar type of output so we get the same output like instead of making a different function we can use a lambda also for the same operation now we are coming in the last section for it that is a reduce why we use the reduce a reduce function for the uh, func tools modules applies a rolling computation to sequence uh, to sequential pairs of a values in a iterable and reduce it to single value so it means like uh, we are giving a sequential value and we wanted that to be in a single value to be get it written back in a single value so what it means like if um, this is one of the module i have to get it imported so from the i just have to I have to import the reduce out of the func tools so this is a module i'm using it and out of that i wanted only a one subsection a reduce one out of it and that to be get it consumed over here the syntax if i'm talking about like a function is one of the thing we required it iterable we have another thing and initializer is also one of the thing we required it so now talking about the examples itself we have to prepare one of the um, function over here itself we are making this is a list we are trying to pass a values this is a function we are mentioning this is a number we are passing a number itself over there itself and the addition of it we are getting it <clears throat> so simultaneously we are getting the return value and then simultaneously that will be get added so at the end when we are trying to print the value of it we get the 15 it's a combination of all the values to be get list all the values to be get added we get the result as 15 that was the reason a single value to be get a return and similar type of operation we can perform with the lambda also okay this is a summary about the map filter and reduce which we can uh, already discuss about it how exactly it's the, the functionality of it everything about it now this is the code for it this is a simple code which i have make it for it and even the explanation over here itself for all the category map filter and why we required in this code itself everything to be get it explained but these things i will explain you at the time when i am uh, presenting the code and running that for you each and every and i will explain you to that section okay so i thing now we go to the code itself and explain you about both the codes and i'm damn sure about it you will get that information about it this might be a lot of things to be grasped in a minute but like you need a time and some richer research you have to do it from your side instead of just viewing the video and try to guess everything not possible you have to go to the documentation try to see all the possibilities but even i have given multiple examples for myself but i wanted you to do more research on it so that you get more details about it so don't be limit yourself just with the video itself or with the documentation which i'm providing it go ahead for the taking uh, whatever the documentation provided by the python libraries that is the bible for you all the time whatever the examples provide over there so that is the latest one updated one also okay so now we'll go to the code and see that how exactly these things will be work 
So now we're talking about the practical section for it. So as I have discussed about the first section that is a join function. So first code is of a join function itself. So we have discussed about all these sections in at the time of the theory also and I'm, now I'm just combining all the things and make it you understand about with the running the code itself. Okay, so what I did over here itself. So firstly, I'm just explaining over these sections for it and now then after that we'll go to this function itself. So now over here itself, the first we have to define as a word itself that is hello world separately with a comma. Now the separator I'm giving it from my side and after that <clears throat> what I did, I'm just mentioning a variable as a result over there itself and custom join. You will definitely ask like what is custom underscore join itself. So custom dot underscore join is a function I have built it over here itself. That function I am using it over here itself. So taking example in case of hello world when I talk about like I'm calling this function as custom under, underscore join and I'm just passing both the values are separator and even I'm passing the value as whatever the word itself so whatever the words I'm just getting defined over here itself and the separator both the things I'm just getting passed over here now it's going under that now by default the result value will be completely blank there is nothing like that inside of the result now by default inside of that first equal to true i'm just defining a value itself i will you will able to understand why i'm defining a first equal to true itself initially so now after that we are running a for loop over there itself i'm just transferring the value whatever the iterable over here itself so iterable is a words which we are trying to get a transfer so first is a hello and another one is a word itself so by default the first word hello is coming and um, coming inside of the item now once it's coming inside of the item itself we go inside of it and if first so first is true as we by default we are defining as a true itself then that was the reason behind it is going inside of it now as we know result plus equal to item so result by default we have blank so that was the reason whatever the value we have it inside of the item that was coming under that equal to our result itself so if we try to print this like just to get a test i have printed this also so there is no need to use it at the time of testing only have used it so if you want to check like what is getting printed over here itself once we are inside of the if statement itself then you can use this line then after that first equal to false so once we done with all our operation we are defining the value first equal to false the reason is that we do not want this statement to be run once again that was the reason we are giving a value first as a false as we are not going out of the loop we are inside of the for loop itself and inside of the for loop uh, whatever the value we are now defining it to the first uh, variable it will get it taking as a false itself over here itself as we are defining a false now it's coming out of it once again the <coughs> so the iterable having a value hello now hello is already done now the word is one of the thing so now it's coming under that item word this will be false as um, uh, we are not fulfilling the condition itself so we are going directly to the else condition and now by this way itself what exactly is happening is the separator the separator what we have it we have the gap we have the space as a separator and the item so whatever the result having it so result by default having a value as hello now after that separator is defining a space then after that the item whatever the new value of the item is word so now the result when we trying to get it return it back it's coming as a hello word so i hope you are able to understand this thing very well it's a similar type of thing like for the items also we are going with the items to be get it pass separators we are trying to get it pass over there itself when we go inside of it first it make it as a true itself and it's going inside of it then again it's going in the false mode itself so that's all about this category also even for this also even for the tuple string also everywhere we are doing the same thing it just is quick change we are using a custom based function which we have built in so using directly a join itself join function okay so that was the difference between it when when i run this code so you can able to see i will get that output in such a way what we have discussed about like in case of first we are just wanted a space only in between of it instead of using any comma so we can see hello world 
Now in case of another section for it, we wanted only apple, comma, banana, comma, cherry. So we can able to see that as we are defining separator as a comma over there itself. Now in case of character, if you're talking about this section for it, we wanted only to be everything to be get it combined. We wanted a Python to be get it printed. So individually we are defining a parameter and that we wanted to get it combined. So over here itself, we do not want any space. We don't want any comma. That was the reason I'm defining a separator as completely blank so by that way itself whatever the value we are trying to get it pass over there in the characters itself it's get combined and by default itself it get combined and return the value results as python now going to the last section which is a tuple of strings in that category what exactly is happening this is our test itself we will do the same thing like we wanted the spaces to be there itself we are passing the separator and that the whole thing we are trying to get it pass it and it's a um, it's a type of tuple itself we are trying to get it pass at the time when it's run with both the condition itself we get the results and it will have a space in between instead of having a comma we have the spaces in the return and we can able to get the result as this is a test so this is all about the first code itself now we go to the next code which we are talking about map filter and reduce so over here itself what exactly is thing is happening so the first thing for the reduce we have to <coughs> uh, from that func tools itself we have to get it import the reduce that is one of the thing we have to do it from the library now after that sample data i'm giving it as one two three four five first okay now after that square number list map lambda i'm just giving everything to be a lambda like now you we are utilizing that directly instead of going with each and every section i'm utilizing it directly over here itself so what exactly is happening we are defining this as a variable now i'm defining this as a list <coughs> so what we are doing over here itself whatever the value we are trying to get it pass over here itself individually now we can able to see map so map individually is calculating the value and we get that value like um, it's x equal to equal um, into by into by two so accordingly it just get it into and by each and every value and we get the results as per the like taking example it's a one then it's get it into by two if it's get um, another number two then it's get it into by two two okay so accordingly whatever that operations we want to get it uh, perform over here itself that logic we are putting over here itself the number we are passing with this way and lambda function we are using it so by that way when we're trying to get it print the value of this we can able to get the results appropriately for it i will make you that understand once we are run the code we get the output on our screen we can able to correlate both the things simultaneously okay so don't worry about it if you're not able to understand very well i'll make you understand once we run the code and get the output i'll try to correlate both the things for you similar like that in case of filter also <coughs> As we have discussed about it, will we want it in return? We want a true value itself. So over here itself, we are trying to map it for the true value itself. Wherever the condition is fulfilled, the value will be uh, zero equal to equal to zero. Then in that case, our condition will be true. Then in that case, we get the return as true itself, and definitely that value, that item, to be get it printed. So over here itself, we are looking for the even. Then in that case, definitely two four is the value we are getting on our screen itself. Okay, at the time when we run it. Now we are talking about the last section for it where we wanted everything to be get it combined. We wanted everything to be get it into by. So every every item to be get it multiply with each other and we get the final output. It's a single output we are getting in case of reduce. So let me run this code so that we can able to correlate all the output with that code. So over here itself, I'll start with the reduce first. So in case of reduce, whatever the item I have provided over as a number itself, then that we are getting a single output. Like it means like every value to be get it into um, by each other. And by that way, we get the final output as one to zero. In case of even uh, filter itself, as I told you about it, we are looking for the true condition. Then in that case, this over here itself, we get the output as two comma four. As in this case only, we we are looking for the even numbers. So only for two and four only, we are getting the value as true. Now talking about the first section, which is a map. In that case, one four nine sixteen twenty five. So what exactly the thing is happening over here itself? So I will make you understand like whatever the value we are seeing over here itself that to be get it multiply by two continuously multiply by two twice time it will get it multiply. So taking example over here itself I can able to see 
x so if the x value is 1 if i'll multiply 1 by 1 if it's automatically coming as a 1 only if i'll talk about the 2 2 will be multiplied by uh, once again by 2 itself we get the 4 if we're talking about 3 3 will be multiplied by 3 we get the 9 so accordingly we can able to see the result so we have to multiply the same number multiple time twice by that way only we get the results about it whatever so that's the functionality of the map which we are using it over here itself just to get that result what we're looking for it so we are looking for the square root of it okay so i hope you are able to understand both the codes very well about it i'll try my best to make you understand about it even still you're not able to understand me uh, please let me know in the comment section of this video i'll try to put some more codes about it but i'll try my best to make the codes example everything to be get it provided from my side in the documentation even on a blog you can get the details about it and even with this code you can able to correlate both the things very well so if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you so much once again take care bye bye